Hello, good people, and welcome to Excel Hacks for Productivity. One trick, two minutes to learn. I was saved every day. In this short video, we'll learn how to apply conditional formatting for variances in Excel. So this is what I want to achieve. I have budget and actual, and I want a dynamic icon placed against all the cells in the variance column. So for sales above, the budget we have a green and sales below we have a red down arrow no change we have a straight yellow arrow how do we get this so we start off by calculating the variance and it's simply the actual divided by the budget minus one so in this case we exceeded our budget by 33%. To convert this to a percentage, you select a number and you press Ctrl Shift percentage. So I'm going to do this for the rest of the cells. I will select the cell and then shift down arrow and press Ctrl D to copy down the calculation for the rest. After I've calculated these, I'm going to apply the icon. I'll go to home and locate conditional formatting. Now when you click conditional formatting, there are some presets options you have. What we want to do is to apply icon sets. In icon sets, there are options here. Three sets, four sets, shapes, and indicators. If you click these directly, it will apply the default rules. If you want to edit and create your own rules, you go down and click more rules. So when you click more rules, you get this dialog box. Now. In the bottom section, you can choose the icon type you want. So here, I want a red yellow green, but I want arrows. So I'll choose this. Just below, you have the opportunity to put in your rules for each icon that you selected. So for green, we want green against all values in this cell that are greater than zero so when you choose zero you change this to number so that completes the green rule and we come to yellow so for yellow we want icon we want it to be placed against numbers that are less than or equal to zero and greater than or equal to zero we do this so that it will trap all zeros so i have the rule for zero which leaves the red down arrow for all numbers that are less than zero. So this is my rule. And when I click OK, you observe that all positive variances have a green up arrow and red for down and then yellow for straight. If you want to see only the numbers, what you can do is highlight the cells, go back to conditional formatting, then you go to manage rules. Under Manage Rules, you see the existing conditional formats here. So we we'll click ours and we go to Edit Rule. Now, just by the side where you chose the icon style, you see this Show Icon Only box. Just click in it. Click OK and then click Apply and OK. So you have the option of seeing only the icons. Please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more videos, you can send art to this WhatsApp number and send videos directly to you on Mondays and Fridays. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Excel Hacks for Productivity. Click subscribe for notification of new videos or give us a like on our Facebook page. Thanks for watching and have a good day.